watcher and welcome to Zed Serio and the second episode of Designing and Building a Guitar. In the previous episode I went through some of the details of the design of the guitar and talked about why it ended up looking like it did. In this episode I'll be taking that design and attempting to make a couple of templates from it from which to build the guitar. To get the design on paper, I contacted my local university, University of Derby, who were able to print out the design onto a sheet of A1 paper. This saved me sticking together several sheets of A4, which would have got a bit annoying and messy. I squeezed a couple of the body templates and a couple of the headstock templates onto this to give myself some margin for error. Firstly, I'm gonna try cutting out this template as accurately as I can. It was really satisfying to finally get cracking on this because I had the printout for quite a while before starting filming. First thing I wanted to do was cut the body template away from the rest of the sheet so that I could kind of attack the, uh, attack the cutting a bit closer to the lines. I skipped a bit further in here to show my progress, getting closer to the lines here. Unfortunately, you're just gonna get a nice focused shot on my hair in a moment rather than cutting of the lines, but you get the idea of what's going on in the background. I took this stage very slowly. Here you can see that the template is nearly finally cut out. Just have a little bit of work left to do on the upper horn. And then after that, it's on to sticking the template onto a sheet of quarter inch MDF. I got some spray adhesive to do this part and I wasn't really prepared for how thick it was when I started spraying it on. Also, I seem to have spent a good 10 minutes spraying this adhesive on, so I apologise for the length of this segment. It's safe to say the paper was well stuck down. I loosely marked on the MDF where I wanted to place the paper. I was also constricted because I wanted to get two templates just for safety. They only just fit on this particular sheet of MDF. Yep, it's good and stuck. One thing I hadn't paid much attention to was the proximity of the two templates on this sheet. You can see it's quite close between the two lower horns and it turned out before I could take anything to the bandsaw I had to separate these with my coping saw here which is an old knackered piece of equipment with a very blunt blade so it took me a good while but I did manage to separate them eventually without cutting into either template. After they were separated I could take the template to the bandsaw to cut much closer to the line. I 
I took this nice and slowly. It's only a cheap bandsaw, but it, it did fine. And after bandsawing, I took it to the, the oscillating sander from Triton, which I was a bit hesitant using, not hesitant, nervous, I suppose. I didn't want to take too much off, didn't know how abrasive it would be. But it was really easy to accurately sand to the lines. Almost good enough to use straight away after using this. But this is an invaluable tool. I did have one issue though with the sanding and that was, I think, a, a kind of like a low spot, a low spot, a low spot on the upper horn, a bit of a divot, which I had to fill in with a mixture of um, sawdust and super glue. Here I took some 120 grit sandpaper, wrapped it around a, a piece of MDF and just generally went around the, the whole width of the body, just trying to get rid of any imperfections that might be picked up by router bits later on. I closely examined the, the perimeter of the template up against the light to look for any high spots, low spots, kind of jagged edges that I'd missed. And I did spend a good few hours just hand sanding just to make everything nice and smooth because ultimately anything on the template will get transferred to the body of the guitar. I'm attempting to show here to the camera the low spot in the upper horn before it's filled. You just see it to the right of my thumb there. So I used a mix, mixture of just MDF, sawdust and some super glue. It was gel super glue, which built up quite easy, dried good and hard, also stuck my fingers to each other. So after using the bandsaw to cut roughly to the lines of the template and then using the oscillating sander to sand even closer to the lines, I was happy with how accurately I was able to get the shape of the template to the paper template. I then went over the edges with 120 grit sandpaper to remove any kind of lumps and bumps and I've ended up with quite a smooth accurate template. I did have one issue on the upper horn here where the sander through my fault made a little bit of an indentation or a low point so I had to fill this with a mixture of sandpaper and super glue and file it down to bring a nice smooth edge. What I want to do next is transfer the lines of this template to a new sheet of MDF using a router and that will help me take out any kind of bits that aren't quite square, although they are pretty square, and generally make a smoother template from which to work. I'll, I'll make that my master template, and I'll use that to make a slightly thicker template from which to transfer the shape to the actual wood of the guitar. Now, I can't do any of this at the moment because I don't actually have a workbench. Um, so the next video is probably just going to show me putting together a workbench in the dusty old cellar. So. Until then, thank you for watching again and hopefully I'll see you next time.